This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network, taught like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, how are you? Good evening, I'm Alex Bennett and this is, of course, as always, The Ramble. And The Ramble goes on from now until, uh, let's see here, midnight tonight, right? On the East Coast. It's right now, it's 10.05 and 15 seconds past the hour on the uh, East Coast of the United States. So uh, if uh, in your part of the world uh, it's kind of the same thing, then you know you're listening to us live. And if not, it's... uh, it's a recording of the program, but that's fun, too. A little bit later, we go to our citizens panel, which is not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, but nine other people besides myself all talking in a round robin. But you'll find out how that happens just a little bit later. But right now, as we do every now and then, we go out and check with a friend in California. Lighten up, everyone. Look at it. The old Rube is here. Yes, Rube. I'm stuck here in a little box. I live in a tiny little box. It's not the glory days anymore where they used to have a bar open for me across the street right when I did the radio. No, oh, no. Well, but anyway, congratulations on your on your manse. It's nice that you have a, it's nice in this day and age that you have a place to live, actually. <laughs> That's true. Uh <laughs> Stately room banner. I'd, I'd take you on a tour, but that would eat up the whole interview. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So we're recording this about a week earlier because uh, I was I, we we had planned to record this week, and yet That's, I came down with this god awful cold. I don't know why. I haven't you know I haven't had a cold in years. Been I've been pretty good where colds are concerned, and man, I came down with this thing, and it just. It laid me low, and it's still, I'm I'm better now, but not enough that I feel like doing a show. I'm still very disoriented, you know, and simple tasks that I have to do with the this video and everything takes me longer to do. I think I may have had a stroke, is what I'm thinking may have happened. Possibility. You'll have to check under your hat. Let me see here. No, it doesn't look like I have a stroke. Well, it certainly doesn't look like it. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, so, uh, yeah. What the heck were we just talking about? Uh, you know, I don't know. What were we talking about? I don't know, because I had a point I was going to make, which would have been great, yeah. seeing as we're talking and everything, but, but I just forgot. But I never, you know, I used to, I, I, I've, I don't think I've had a worse cold in my life. Oh, that's what I was going to say, man. In all the years that I've known you, I don't remember you ever being sick. Well, if, maybe once. if I was sick, I worked, okay? Uh, and I've gotten to the point in my life where I go, if I'm sick, I ain't working, you know? But it yeah. used to be, if I was, if I, if, my mother died and I went on the air, you know? I mean, yeah. I, anything I would, I, would, I would get on the air for. So, you know, it was a, it was a big deal for me, but... All of a sudden, it's just like, uh, <coughs> hear that? Oh, oh, oh. Hear that, that doesn't sound very good. Is that a good one? Now, by the time people listen to this show, I will sound much better on the show itself. And you will n- notice that I'm not, you know, <clears throat> overdoing it with uh, with coughing and It could all be over. Huh? You will- or it could all be over. Or we'll could, remember you fondly. Yeah, yeah. It could be. It could be. The, the, you know, I have that stroke, and <laughs> but no. no. I mean, I and I don't know. Here's how I don't know how I got the cold. You, my my life currently is I never go out. Come on. I never go out really, except to go to the grocery <laughs> store or something like that. Or eat. Movie occasionally. Occasionally we'll go to eat, but I basically don't leave the house. I've been known to stay here for like seven, eight straight days and not go anywhere. Wow. Right? Yeah. So so where did I get the cold? I mean, who did I come into contact with that I could have gotten this from? I think that's a question that you should ask your government. It's probably Trump's fault. Oh, it's Trump's fault, all right. Yeah. You got to make sure of that, but. 
Yeah. Plus all the, uh, like the Centers for Disease Control and all these special buildings around the country where they're working on uh, uh, chemical warfare type stuff, that stuff leaks out all the time. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Gets people sick, a group of people sick. Everybody says, I'm not really sure why. So, oh, they're making all this stuff to kill people in that building over there. That's why. <laughs> Oh man! So anyway, so I I don't know how I got this thing. I no idea. How, how long have you had it? I've had it since I think I came down with it on like Saturday or Sunday. Oh okay. And I woke up with like this hellacious sore throat, and oh. uh, I just I I got this horrible cold, and then I didn't have a temperature. So that you know it's a cold, not a flu, if you don't have a temperature. Yeah. But then, then I started getting a temperature from it. And that went up to like 100.5. And then it went down into the 90s again, 99s. And then uh, just now I did my temperature and I was well below normal. So You, <clears throat> you know. need a nurse. I, I need a nurse, yes. I need a nurse even when I'm not sick. I need a nurse. Try, right, man. Yeah. But what That's happened was... Hey, I've got a, pl a few places I have to check out because I'm thinking of going in for that assisted living stuff while I'm still young, young enough to enjoy it. You know? Exactly, exactly. The thing is that I, I um, 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 suddenly, on I think it was Monday, uh, I started finding myself stumbling around, not being able to make coherent sentences. Were you boozing? Huh? Were you boozing? No. No, you, sure? you know me. I don't drink. You can tell me, man. No, I understand. I, I, if you're boozing, just tell me. I, I don't drink. I don't drink. Okay. Yeah. But you know you can tell me. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I, would I would tell you. understand. I would tell you. I know you would understand. All right. In fact, you would like me better. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. You would Go like ahead, me then. better. So anyway, so I'm like, uh, uh, I'm, I'm like, and and Marjorie told me that I was just like I was, just repeating myself and saying things and uh, oh. uh, just uh, completely out of it. I couldn't, and then I couldn't do simple tasks, like I have things I'm supposed to do here, like post the shows and stuff, which I just do. Blah 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 blah. Where do I put this? Where does that go? I didn't know. I, I completely was out of it and then i talked to bubs because i was supposed to do an interview with bubs on monday and i completely forgot yeah. because i was in la la land and he calls me and he says you were supposed to call today and i went oh fuck and i said i'm terribly sick and i uh, that's what i remember of the conversation and then yep. i talked to him <clears throat> on uh, uh the next day to arrange another time for us to do an interview right and he said, "Boy, you must have been out of it yesterday because you kept repeating yourself, and you were so you were completely disoriented on the phone." Wow. So I don't know why that happened because of the cold. I mean, I know I took a Benadryl and I took uh, a uh, I took a Xanax to put me to sleep that night, but I don't think that could have affected all of that, you know. But it it was it yeah, but was. Why is half your face sagging? No, no face. All of my face sags. Come on. I couldn't tell if I had a stroke or didn't have a stroke. <laughs> no. Well, I think you could completely rule out the following. What, what's Booze? That? What? Booze? No, booze we, we write off completely. Heroin? Heroin? Yeah, no. Nothing. Never did no, heroin. No heroin? Not a stroke? Probably not. Probably not a stroke, and but you don't know where you would catch a cold. I don't know where I would catch a cold. I mean, I did, in the previous days, I did not shake hands with anybody. You know, a girlfriend is the only person I see didn't have anything. You know, she hasn't come down with it. So I don't know where it came from. I thought you were supposed to get colds from other people. I If that's the case, I didn't. No, I don't know why I didn't get cold. You know? Normally, shut-ins don't get cold, so I don't know why. 
Do they not get colds? I don't know that. Uh, no, this is, I don't think they do, man, because you got to be uh, around the public. you got to be on escalators and I, stuff like that. I didn't go out. Well, then I think that your wife is trying to kill you slowly. Could be. It could be that she's got putting arsenic in my food or something. <laughs> something, man. Wait a minute. She hasn't been cooking for months and months because we didn't have gas here. Uh, and now we have gas, so she's going to start cooking again. Oh, okay. Which means massive amounts of soups. Yeah. She, she loves making soups. Big, she has these big pots you'd use for an army, and then she makes soups. And, the, of course, I'm I'm good for two days of the same soup, and that's it, you know. But this is good for, like, three weeks of the same soup. So now she has these, she bought these uh, containers, like, for takeout at restaurants and yeah. she fills them up and gives them out to people oh yeah yes she's kind of like her own salvation army oh that's cool yeah but so i don't know what caused this cold i have no idea and uh tonight i could do a show but i'm not going to because i don't feel like it i just am not a hundred percent yet or at least 80 percent. i still feel disoriented and you know what time would you start your show? What time do you start your show? Uh, uh, 10 o'clock at night here. 10 at night? Yeah, yeah. And, and how late do you go? I go till uh, midnight. Oh, that's nice. So tonight I'm going to have one of my other people actually do the show. I, last night I didn't do it at all. I just was sick. Yeah. And that was it. So, you know. But... Uh, you know, to, so uh, I, I think maybe it's just that you get older, you can't, you don't overcome these colds as well as you did. Oh, uh, here we go with that get older crap. Well, what, I, you're trying to scare me? No, I'm trying to make you feel good. Well, no way, that wouldn't make you feel good, would it? Yeah, colds are going to get worse for you. <laughs> yeah. That's how some people die. Yeah, you're how old now? 61, did you say? Something like that? 61? Whoa, slow down there, mister. What do you 50, mean? 57. 57. Oh, okay. You're only 57. You're a young boy. I mix you up with like Bubbles. He's like 61, 62. Bubs is 70. Is Bub 70? I think so. No, I don't think so. I'm starting a vicious rumor. Are you starting a vicious rumor? Yeah. <laughs> no, Bubs is in his 60s. Durst, got... Durst is, I think, 65. Yeah. When did you guys all get old, for crying out loud? When I knew you, you were just kids. We were just kids, man. I was, uh, you know, 20-something and uh, two-fisted, rambling, hard-drinking. I was eating up my youth. I knew how to live young. You were eating up your youth. Yeah. I sure knew, I sure knew how to live young. And uh, then, of course, on the, um, I think it was the Quake. Yeah. No, no, no. Live 105. Your studio was right across from the bar. The bar. That was uh, the that that was the horrible move that I made. Was that I? <laughs> did you you were on the shows at the Quake, right? Um, uh, that's a good question. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Well, yeah. At the very end. It would be at the very end. Yeah. When you did uh, the Bobcat goes to Hollywood show at the Circle Star Theater. Yeah. I was on that show with Warren and uh, Dana Carvey, right. and uh, that was the first thing I ever did for you. And I'd been doing the radio about a month at that time, but it was I was getting strong results. And I think those days were all Quake days. Yeah, I think we were at the Quake then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On Sutter Street, you had to go up like one Sutter, floor. Right? You had to go up one flight of stairs to get to the studio. That's right. Yeah. 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 And then the uh, the other one was on Ninth Street, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, it was on Ninth Street. Yeah, and across the street was the famous, infamous John Bull. That is now the uh, Twitter building. No, the one what? on Ninth oh, Street, the, the radio building. Yeah. Wow. The, the Twitter bought it, and it became Twitter. Yeah. So. The Twitter building. Yeah. I wonder if all the people work at, the, at work at Twitter, if they just go around and talk to each other in, in yeah. sentences that are 140 characters or less. <laughs> yeah, all their, all their memos are 140 characters yeah, or less. 
that would make working there awful tough, boy. Especially if you you get into a fight over a raise or something, and yeah. you, you can only say partial sentences. Yeah, I'm out of characters. Give me a raise. <laughs> uh, That'd be a funny bit to do, working yeah. at the tw- Twitter building. You know, we no, got we, we got a memo. Yeah, here's the, here's the size on it. You know. Well, it says here the bill wants to. We're out of characters. Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway, so uh, how have you been? Oh, I've been doing well. How's the career doing? How's, how's uh, you did the taping? And so you must well, be... uh, If the career starts going really well, I'm not sure how I'm going to react to it because I don't remember what that's like. <laughs> yeah. But uh, hey, uh, today or tomorrow, the, the special will be f- finished, I think. Yeah. Uh, there's an issue with the sound and I think it, I think that's all been taken care of. I actually have to listen to it today and then um, I think it'll be done. Yeah, today are, are, or tomorrow. Are, are you happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy with it. I put back in to lighten up everybody at the beginning like you told me, man, because, you know, you, you got to be stupid to think that I was actually getting booed. Yeah. I don't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say you got to be stupid, but I, I'm saying it's a comedy special for the fans that already know me. You know, for the people that already know me, you got to keep that in. And for the people that have never seen me before, that's your catchphrase. Yeah, that's my catchphrase. That's phrase. your catchphrase. That's your identifier. It's my way of getting loose and ready to ramble when I go out and do that. You know. Yeah. Uh, and and just establishing my presence with the crowd really fast instead of asking hey how you doing blah blah yeah. blah but you know what uh, I like the special and um, your your name is in the credits yeah so you might get your own show <laughs> yeah if I pay for it <clears throat> <laughs> but uh, I like the special man I, I just hope it, it ends up on Netflix I, I, I have my fingers crossed and all Good hope is going in that direction, you know. You know, I got it. I got eight thousand dollars. I could tape one of those. I could tape one of those and get up and not have an act and just try to be funny and not say much of anything and have nobody that's, laugh. That's what the. Mo- that's what. I'll, I'm not going to name any names, but in the last week, just to see what I was up against. Yeah. Not up against, just to see what they're buying. Yeah. I watched three or four different specials. Yeah. <clears throat> including one last night. And um, I got to tell you, I mean, you know, they're all good. They're not going to put a pile of, you know, uh, you know, just a pile of rotten whatever up there. They're all good, but, you know, they're not setting the world on fire. And uh, some of them do seem like they just keep talking until they find a story that works. Are these specials that people have done? Stand up, yeah. Stand up. I mean, where were they on Netflix? Things like that. Yeah, that's what I meant. I was watching them on Netflix to see what uh, you know, to see well, what they're buying. Netflix is buying almost every comic who breathes because they're well, trying to. They tr- me now. I got to knock on wood. They try. They try. No, they're trying to one up HBO, and so they're taking on comics who HBO normally would have taken, but they're grabbing them. If they even think HBO wants them. Um, They're taking everybody, man. Uh, I mean, everyone. Uh, and I don't know who half these guys are. I never heard of them. Yeah, but, you know, they got, they got a lot of people that you've heard of. that They just recently came out with a new special. and they, cause they, Like you said, they bought them all out of uh, HBO. But, like, you know, uh, recently they took uh, uh, Tracy Morgan has a special out. Uh, Norm MacDonald, Sarah Silverman. Um, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. They paid him eighty million dollars to do some specials for them. Well, I should be able to at least get seventy million. Yeah, for sure. But he—they really, they really paid him that much. They paid him that much. Yeah, yeah. Eighty million. That's right. Okay, so things are looking up for me. Yeah, yeah. Or it's like. <laughs> Just well, go go well, into well, HBO, and then when they say, how much is this going to cost us? You say, I want Chappelle money. Oh, I'm definitely going to do that. <laughs> you know, I can't take a, 
I can't take a meeting and not make a mockery out of it. Yeah, yeah. Just wouldn't be any fun. Wouldn't be any fun, right? But uh, um, yeah, Chappelle, all those cats, man, they're on there now, and then uh, uh, yeah, they're getting all all the old timers, so to speak. Not old timers, but guys have been relevant for a long time. Yeah, Louis Louis C.K. Yeah. But and uh, it's funny, man. They all do these big arenas. They're doing Dana Carvey. Uh, everybody. I mean, they just it, they just grabbed up the whole comedy scene. Uh, the thing with Netflix, what's interesting about Netflix, and I didn't realize this, they are so running heavy on money that they they can piss it away anywhere they want to. They can have any number of failures and not worry about it. You know. Uh, yeah. It just even if you have a comedian and he doesn't do that well, not that many people watch it. Still, people watched it, and it gives more value for people's money when they look at that list of, pe- of shows that you can watch while you're you're there. Plus, they wind up owning these shows uh, as opposed to just uh, um, you know buying them from somebody and then putting them on. So they call them Netflix originals. And uh, that allows them to have an inventory for themselves. They can go for years, you know. That's true. So, and, and, but they have now, they, I think they've just surpassed uh, HBO and subscribers. And they don't charge as much as HBO, but they're charging an average of about nine ninety five a month yeah. uh, for people to get the the programming and you you add that to like 55 million 60 million subscribers i think worldwide something like that it's that's some big dough coming in every month you know so 70 million subscribers uh holy cow 60 probably 60 million worldwide you know in the united states i heard i heard in the united states it was something like 45 50 million you know, so I mean, they have a lot of money to spend. So does HBO. I mean, you know, a show like Game of Thrones, God, you know, no TV network could afford to do that show. Yeah. yeah. I just saw a movie on Netflix, a Netflix original that had to cost a boatload of money. Some military story. It's a true story. It's pretty funny because it's about all the all the screw ups down in uh, Afghanistan. Yeah. With Brad Pitt. Oh, with Brad Pitt. I haven't seen. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. It is good. Okay, I'll have to. I'll have to watch it. Yeah, it's 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 really interesting and it's pretty funny. I just uh, got, I just got through binge watching House of Cards. Oh yeah, I've never seen that show. Oh, that that blows its. It, 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 it's good up until the last three episodes, and then it just goes hog wild and blows its wad, and I don't think turns out very good. Yeah. Well, yesterday I was stricken with panic and fear, and I couldn't get out of bed, so I binge-watched uh, the Weather Channel. <laughs> so that way I felt like I was out doing something. Nothing like binge-watching the, the, the Weather Channel. So, Well, I'm glad, to hear, I'm glad to hear things are, things are you know, I mean, the, the special thing. Hopefully you'll be able to sell it to Netflix, but if not, there's always Amazon, HBO, Showtime, who else? Yeah, uh, there are just tons of these or uh, companies, you know. Plus, your act's clean, isn't it? You, there's a yeah, uh, there's a couple times I swear, but n- n- not in not in any kind of nature that's dirty and. Uh, yeah, so you could sell this even one of the outfits that uh, you know wants cleaner comedy. So you know. Yeah, uh, that there's a TV network that, that I told you run by Mark Cuban. Yeah. Called- Yes, and uh, they take stuff like this too. Yeah, so you got a lot of places to market this, you know. Plus, it's done; it's in the can. All they have to do is put their name on it. That's all, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, it's always good to talk to you, Rube. Great talking to you, Alex. Sorry you have a cold. Uh, uh, well, it's it's uh, it's it's. Hopefully, it will get better uh, in the next day or so. It's been getting better progressively every day, but 
you know. We've got to get out of these tiny boxes. Germs are everywhere in these things. I think that's the problem. I'm stuck in a house full of germs. That's what it is. <laughs> Not enough ventilation. Yeah. Well, what would we say if it's the opposite of lighting up everybody? The old Ruba's back to say goodbye to you. Uh, everybody get depressed. The Ruba's gone. Yeah, get depressed, everybody. The Ruba's out of here. <laughs> Talk to you later, Bob. Bye. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And here we are back again. Uh, same hat, same shirt, uh, but a week ago. <laughs> I put this shirt on today, and I suddenly realized it was going to be the same shirt that uh, I'd be wearing for the, um, uh, <laughs> for, for the interview with uh, Rube. So, uh, what the hell? Maybe I'll get rid of the hat in a little bit here. Anyway. Hi, everybody. How are you? I'm Alex Bennett, and it is time now for us to go to our... Uh, first, I want to just check on something, make sure everything's working fine. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> Got to go to the uh, the citizens panel. Uh, in case you don't know what a citizens panel is, we use a thing called Skype, and uh, it, uh, it allows us to talk to not just a couple of people, uh, but to a whole bunch of people at the same time, like upwards to nine other people before we max out. At that point, uh, all the video gets lost and we have to go to uh, just nothing but audio, so we only take nine callers besides me. You say, well, what kind of talk show is that? Well, it's really not so much a talk show as it's a discussion among a bunch of people who are enjoying talking with each other. And uh, the lines are now open if you... If you uh, want to call uh our uh, i always have to look over here for the phone number because i'm i'm terrible at remembering phone numbers we do have a phone number but first of all if you want to use this calling using gab uh, using skype which you may have it's just gabnet live is our is our uh, is our address gabnet live if you want to call us using a telephone it's not as much fun because you can't see anybody, and we can't see you, but we can hear you. Uh, it's 347-352-0079. That's 347-352-0079. So this is the part of the program where I anxiously wait for people to start calling and to t talk to me and to tell me what's, uh, what's new uh, and uh, to uh, uh, hunker down with their opinions. Um, so again, I'm, uh, I'm sitting here waiting, um, while I'm waiting, oh, well, there we go. There's Scott Boddicker immediately. Scott is always, we can always count on Scott to be the first guy in on the citizens panel. Okay, you might not be able to. What, 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 Scott? Well, what, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me, let me, uh, uh, okay. There we go. There's Scott. Hi, Scott. My, my hair is a mess. Don't put me on. Uh, <laughs> your hair is a mess. Don't put you on. <laughs> it's been a rough day. It's been a rough day for you. I see. How rough? How rough has it been? I've been working with air conditioning issues. So uh, uh, anyway. where at home? Yeah. Yeah. Just checking it out. And yeah. I've yeah. concluded that it's probably died and it needs to be put under and replaced with a new one. Oh, it's I like see. I uh, yeah. So uh, now um, uh, you you had this problem last night. You kept going down to see if yeah. it was working or not working. Uh, I have no idea whether my air conditioner is working or not anymore. Uh, it seems really? to could you? Well, this room is. If I if I showed it to you, uh, it it it's about to twelve feet, thirteen feet high ceilings here. You know what's the length and width? Length length is not width is not bad. Length is pretty long, so okay. it, it it's uh, it, it, it I, I'm pu I'm pushing it here. Let me put it that way. Uh, we've been joined by uh, uh, let's see here. We've been joined by uh, there we go. I see everybody comes in nice now with the with yeah. this new system, right? Whoa, huh? I I don't like the way it divides the. Oh, right well, now. that's just you. Just click that, on just click on Alex's picture. That just click on Alex's picture. Yeah, then it'll go to full time, Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There we go. So it's it just no. What it's happens just, is, like you said, on each up. on each system, uh, you have to adjust it. There uh, on, on on Windows machines, you can take the Skype pictures and put them in a certain order. 
There's a, at the very top of the screen, there's like uh, three dots, and then there's like a, a scale yeah. thing, and then a, a thought balloon. And with the three dots, it gives you a choice of dynamic views, various views, and you can go back and forth between those till you get the one you want. You know. Yeah. But I don't know. What do you have? Do you have a PC? Mac. 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 So, Mac. And I looked at the Mac last night, and I couldn't find it. I probably tomorrow yeah. should do it just so I can tell you people. And there there's Phil with his there's Phil with his wonderful green screen that he of course well, isn't using. Uh, this thing, this photo key light, yeah. may not be the right software for uh, video. Uh, it, it, I've been uh, reading up on it and looking at some YouTube's on it, and basically, it'll let me take a picture, but uh, and then import that picture and export it and print it. Uh, but I think I may need something else well, for. It, uh, it, it, well, for instance, I, I use a thing here called OBS, which is what I use for the switching of the show, so that yeah. you can you can like see the various. Uh, uh, let me make sure we're on. Okay, uh, you can see the you can see the show. They can see you. I can put the you know I put Bob Rubin on pre-recorded and all sure. of that, but it has a chroma key feature in it. OBS. Yeah, and I think that's free, right? Yeah, but you you wouldn't need it. You know, you couldn't, it, it wouldn't be something that you could use necessarily. Oh, but there's something else. Uh, there's other software, a uh, free software that will chroma key on Skype well, and you, video. Well, you have a Mac, you, right? You have a Mac, right? Yes. Well, there's a chroma key feature in, in, uh, in FaceTime, for really? instance. Really? Yeah. But uh, I can't use FaceTime with, uh, That's with right. Skype. Can't? That's right. So. Yeah. No, I, I'm I'm looking into it. Uh, I'll, I'll come up with something. Yeah, I was I was with uh, I was with Albert today. I had uh, lunch yeah. with Albert. I saw the yeah. uh, the uh, Facebook post. Yeah, and he said that uh, he said he, I I should get a green screen. And I you should. Said, and I don't want to put one behind me. I I like this room behind me. You know, it's folksy. It looks like I'm working out of something here. It doesn't you know. Well, you, you can move the green screen when you don't want to use it. You, you don't have to use it, you know. I, but I don't need the green screen. What am I going to put behind me? What do I uh, want to put behind a me? A better-looking picture of you. But no, what do I want? <laughs> what do I want behind me, you know? I mean, well, uh, if, I, if I had graphics I wanted to put up and, you know, stuff in back of me uh, uh, illustrating a point and things like that, but you guys wouldn't even be able to see it because all you're seeing is what's coming off of my uh, Skype camera, not what's coming right. off the air camera. So, uh, you know. Well, I, I'm trying to make it come off the Skype camera. You're trying uh, to make that's, it? That's what I want to do. And I know you can do it. I just don't know well, how yet. Well, oh, you, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no, it, because it isn't built into Skype. Uh, yeah, but uh, th no, there's no, a way to do it. No, there isn't a way. I don't think there is a way to do it. I think the only yeah. way you're going to be able to use that chroma key is if you want to shoot something onto, onto a file of you and stuff on the, in the background and so on. But Skype is just taking the picture, and it's using your picture... Uh, there, there were yeah. some things, there were some other softwares, Sparko something, uh, said you could do I, it. Why are you uh, obsessed with the green screen anyway? It, hey, it's just the newest. You're not uh, doing the, the show. I'm, if anybody do. should want a green screen, it's me and I don't want one. All right. Well, I, I, I can't compare myself to you. You and don't want I, it. You and, don't want it. You I, don't have to have it. And if I really want it, I just paint everything in back of me green for crying out loud. <laughs> you know, for forty bucks, I've I've got green. Yeah, for forty bucks, you got green. Yeah, that's a that, that's a bad green, by the way. As I say again, for chroma uh, it's it's the Westcott, uh, and you know Westcott makes a lot of photography stuff. That's fine, but that chroma key green is a particular color. Uh, yeah. Not found in nature. In fact, well, this it's such a special color that and blue that if you go anywhere to buy the paint. That paint goes for about $100 a bucket. Do you remember the guy up in Canada uh, that was a bus driver or something? And he had a room that he had painted chroma key green. Uh, but he sold that house. Uh, nice guy. Uh, the guy with the beer all the time. Yeah. 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 He yeah. So he had that chroma key color painted. But this is a fabric. This is a stretchy yeah, kind I of fabric. I know that's a fabric. I had a better thing than that. I know you did. I had a thing called uh, called a hollow screen. Yeah. And what it did is you had the camera, and then around the lens you put this light, 
okay, in a ring. Like a ring light. A ring light. And then it shone against a reflective surface, that was a special reflective surface. It was, this whole thing was invented by the BBC. And mm -hmm. then that was used as a chroma key because then it would make the back blue. Or if you used uh, green lights, it made it green. Or if you used red lights, it made it red. And oh. it, was, uh, it was called a hollow ring. And that's how I used to do some really perfect chroma keying for the, for the show in San Francisco that I used to do out of, uh, out of Play Incorporated. Didn't they use those lights for, uh, like, uh, macro photography? Macro photography? Why would I use yeah, those for macro? A ring light. No, 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 uh, no. This, is, this literally was meant to light up a reflective screen so uh -huh. that what the lens saw, you know, you didn't see this. The reflective screen didn't suddenly turn green if you were standing in back of the camera. But see. whatever went through that lens, it mm -hmm. saw the green. I see. So. Well... Or in, uh, in this case, I, I don't I can't remember. Whether we were, I think we were using blue at that time. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is just a, a toy, and it's it was cheap. And if I can make it work, great. And if I can't, well, then it'll go been, in the you've closet. Been, you've been putzing with it now for a half a week. Well, and, well and, I'm, and, I'm slow. Uh, you know, I, I only have a, a minimal amount of time when I come home uh, to, to play with it. And I'm busy at work. The thing you know, is, so. if, if most people have just kind of a white neutral background today, you can do. Um, uh, green screen, you can do that kind of thing with just any kind of background. Uh, yeah. They become that sensitive. You know, but, yeah. Yeah. but I, well, I, I do know there's a chroma key feature in OBS. But yeah. I, well, I'd like to you know, pull up a brick wall, put up uh, the no, White we House. But we don't want you to. I, this, you don't want me to no, be you, here. You, 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 <laughs> no, you, you can't have a better system than the star of the show, okay? Oh, well, it, I don't know that it's better. It's just different. Yeah. Well, anybody else you want to call, we're here, you know. But anyway, so I'm, I, I, I had lunch with uh, I had lunch with Albert, and it was very nice. Very nice. I, have not, I, I, I forgot how much I really liked the guy and, you know, What's how much. What's he doing now? Huh? Nothing. What's he doing? He's retired. Nothing. He says he retired. retired. He says retired. He's 50, 53, 54, 55. He's retired. Wow, he just nice. he it just was... decided he didn't want the radio business anymore, yeah. you know. And I mean, he got offered some deep, really decent money to go back into it, and he just didn't want to, you know. Wow. Because You're we both agreed partner? that there is no radio left, you know. It's just a myth. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so he has time to do a show, huh? I mean, he, he has time to do a show. No, he doesn't want to do a show. He, oh, what he did, the reason he stopped, I asked him why he stopped doing a show here. And he said basically it was because it obligated him to do a show every night. And he had to be there at a certain time to do the show. And he just wanted the freedom to live his life like he wanted to live his life. And I appreciate that because that, he's always been a, a free soul that way, you know. And yeah. um, I, I appreciate that about him. I really do. Um, it's, uh, it's really quite terrific. Uh, and he, uh, so, uh, I mean, I said to him, I just said, you know, of all the shows that we've ever had on, and I'm saying this truthfully, uh, and some have left us, of course, um, the one I always get asked about is his. I, I never get asked about Jim, never get asked about Miranda, but I always get asked about Albert and about his show. And I said, they would love to hear you do it. And he says, nah. In fact, I said, why don't we do just a phoner thing, you know, you and I, or a Skype thing? And he said, nah, I don't know if I want to do that. Wow. Oh. You know, uh, but we have agreed to get together again in about a month and have lunch because we really enjoyed ourselves and we really had a nice discussion. And um, I, there's a shared history there. You know, we spent nine and a half years, oh, 10 years with each other, if you include the TV thing we did. We, we spent t about 10 years with each other. That's uh, that's one seventh of my that's one eighth of my life, slightly less than one eighth of my life. That's one at least one fifth that's of his life, you know. And so we're a little closer than just being friends, you know. And um, it was just so nice to hear from him because I I should have gotten a hold of him and I kept thinking about it and then I didn't know if he wanted to be bothered and whatever. And so it was wonderful that he that he broke the ice and called me and we got together and we had lunch. And it was like, you know, no time had passed, you know, Good. And, and it was really, it was really nice. And uh, he says hello to everybody, you know, 
which is very nice of him. And uh, uh, I, I, I really am uh, hoping that, uh, you know, I mean, I, I would love it if he, if, he, if he did something here, but, you know, he's, he's just not, uh, he's not up to it, you know, so. Uh, and I understand it completely. I understand his, uh, his, uh, his uh, feeling about it, so. Anyway, where is everybody else tonight? Where he might are... change his mind sometime. Who knows? And yeah. it's always open. Where is every Some... Where is everybody else tonight? This is strange. Uh, you know, I can't tell you. I can't tell me either. You know, <laughs> we'll probably start hearing from some people soon. You got some listeners out there? Well, I yeah. Well, we had uh, we actually tonight on the TV have more people than we usually have. I think running a video of my guest was uh, was a winner. Uh, yeah. you know, but I can't do that with everybody. That's the problem. I can do it with Rube because Rube has now Skype. you might be able to. No, if they pull in on an iPhone or an Android or an iPad. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, to begin with, I can do it with Durst. He's got Skype. I can do it with uh, uh, with uh, Ruben. He's got Skype. When it comes to Bubbles, he only has dial up. Okay. To think that he would even be able to work an i a, 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 a phone is uh, is is a big problem. And, and no, I, so you don't have I, an iPad or anything? You can go over uh, to yeah, uh, and, and Starbucks I, and no, I don't know about Pearl. Uh, I I have to check with Pearl and see maybe if he can accommodate it. You know, uh, but uh, from here on in, when I do interviews, I like doing them that way because I found out how I can play them here. And they look good and uh, got us a large audience and people love seeing Rube. The only thing I noticed about Rube, I got to mention this to him the next time I talk to him. Rube always had gray hair. It was part of the persona. And, and I noticed it was, and, it wasn't gray at all. No, he's, he's coloring his hair. And I'm thinking, it, it doesn't look like the old Rube. I mean, at, at, but it, the, does, at, at it 30, doesn't look colored. At, it, yes, it, it does. Oh, like yes, it, oh, yes, it does. Oh really? Oh, yeah. uh, I saw him in person not too long ago. Well, it, uh, it looks colored. It, really? When when a guy his age doesn't have any gray. Listen, he 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 was gray when he was thirty. Okay, and it looked yeah. great. You know. Do you always eat on television? No, but these are good. They're a little. They're nuts. Uh, they're a little nuts. Yeah, I've had. A, you know what's the worst thing about getting better? Is I've had a massive hunger lately. <laughs> And so I've tried to just keep it down because I learned something about, are you ready for this? I, I fell in love with the baguettes at Costco. Oh, that's bad. Well, it's bad. It's not that bad. I, I found the baguettes don't tend to put weight on me. Okay. If they do, I'll stop doing the baguettes. But you the gotta get so many. But the trouble with the baguettes are, uh, here comes, uh, here comes uh, uh, Tony. Um, hi, Tony. How are you this evening? I'm all right. Yeah, you're all right. Okay, but anyway, let me let me finish the story oh. about my uh, yeah. about my baguettes. Okay. The trouble with the baguettes there is you buy them, you eat them the first day they're perfect, right? Nice. The next day they're starting to turn, starting to get hard. Okay, so what I did this week is I chopped them into four separate pieces and I put three of them in the freezer. And then anytime I wanted another one, I would pull it out of the freezer. Somehow, when I pull them out of the freezer, they last two or three days before they get stale. Now, go figure that one. Because, you know, they defrost, and then they're good for like two or three days. And I can't figure that one out. I, I don't know the science behind it. Uh, you know, there are, there are some gourmet bread places in uh, the Bay Area. You got uh, Semi Freddy's, yeah. uh, and, and Acme, and a number of other of these ones that just produce some unbelievable things. Do they have that kind of thing in New York? Or What? Uh, uh, you know, really good bread. You know, oh no, we don't have bread in New York. Uh, we're no, we're, 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 about, we're you know we're behind the pizza. times. We actually we all we have here is like Wonder Bread. That's all we have, like and, you and, know, and, and and you can pull all that stuff up and uh, make play doh out of it. But, yeah, but, 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 uh, uh, you know, there's just some fabulous uh, bakeries out here. What, what, do you uh, mean, what do you mean fabulous bakeries? I lived in the Bay Area, Phil. 
You want yeah, fabulous and, and, bakeries? Yeah. Come to New York. You'll find out what a bakery you, really the is. Sourdough? Huh? Not the, not the sourdough. Yeah, well, the, we don't, no, we don't have sourdough here. That's the one thing we don't have. But find but, yourself a great bagel in California. No, you can't. Okay, so but, fuck uh, me. Because the uh, Noah's is chewy bread. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, no, you know, no, Noah's should Nobody does water bagel. No, no, Noah's should not be known. This, this is a place out in California, folks, called Noah's Bagel. And and uh, anytime you see an Asian making bagels, you don't want them, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. And Noah's, are they still open? They're still going strong? Oh, yeah, it's a big chain. Matter of fact, I yeah. think they were bought by Starbucks. Well, here in New yeah. York, what we have is... Sir Pete's. What we have here <laughs> is H&H Bagels, okay? Yeah. Uh, and hello, Charlene. How are you? Charlene, are you there? She called and we can't hear her. Okay. Then, Charlene, we're going to hang up on you because we have other things to do with our life besides uh, try and, and talk to people who can't be talked to. Uh, so. well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. We're, uh, it, 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 let me finish with this first before you go to something else. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Please, you got H and H. What? No, what I'm saying yeah. is, is that here in New York we have H and H bagels, and H and H is like you know every store buys H and H bagels to sell at their place, and you used to go down at like five o'clock in the morning when I used to get off the air at WPLJ at like five or six in the morning, and I would go over to Broadway and I would go to the uh, uh, to the uh, hello, are you there, Charlene? Charlene, are you there? She must be having a problem with the new system. There is no. It was something, you know. I have no idea what her problem is, but let, let me let me just call her back. Let's see what yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. There we go. Now let's see if she picks up. Um, maybe she'll pick up. Who knows? Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, and I would go down to H and H B. Hello, are you there, Charlene? Charlene. Yeah. You, um, yeah, I don't know. Yes, what, I'm here. Okay, turn on your camera, will you? Well, Alex, I was at the dentist today, and I look really awful. Do I have to? Yeah, please. You got it. No, no. <laughs> no, you have to. You, you have to. No, it's real no, bad. You have to. He looks like shit. You have Just to. Just a bag over your head. It's 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 okay. Yeah. Don't worry. My mother's not looking that good right now. Yeah, there's uh, there's so, Rob so, Alfano. I bet you can see me. Anyway. No, come on. No, no, Just no, no, come no, on. No. Let's see your face. Come on. No, no, it's really. Well, then bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up on you. I'm gonna oh. hang up on you if I don't see your face. All right. Well, what is do this a green thing? Wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I've got like I got a, a purple person, a blue person. What is that? What? A pink person. I don't see cameras and stuff. I see you, Alex. Oh well, I don't know what's wrong. I called you. I called you back. Yeah, that might be what it is. Then I'm not. Used Do you to have the newest version of Skype, Charlene? Well, I'm on the iPhone, so that's. Oh. Well, no, you should be. Should, we should be able to see you on the iPhone now. If she turns her camera. If she turns her camera on. But I don't have like a an option for that. I have these. I, you know, do. it looks like somebody without a picture it, like that. It's yes, like a you. little, you know, person with blue and a, and they didn't put a picture in or something. No, but but the, you got to have a camera in there. Well, I don't see if, it. Are like you? Oh, 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 wait, wait a minute. Oh no. All right. Well, I look terrible. There oh, you go. There you go. We want to now, now turn your camera sideways. Turn your camera sideways. Oh, like that? Yeah. There we go. Now you're widescreen. Okay. See, you don't, okay. You don't look well, terrible. Just... You know. Yeah, you can't look any worse than me. Yeah. In fact, you kind of <laughs> do. In fact, you kind of do look like him. Question. What? What about carpal tunnel? Because now they told me I have all this tingling. They right. told me that they're going to do a test for carpal tunnel. Anyone know about that? No big no. deal. Not really. Yeah. I'm, I, like I wake up and my fingers tingle, like my index thumb, and and it's oh. annoying and it doesn't go away. Really? I don't know. Well, I'll let you know if they tell me anything. Can you have a hard time holding stuff, like a pen? Well, now I do. That's my other problem today. Like my phone doesn't work because I can't touch. You know, I got this tingling. Oh, it's crazy. Well, they Aren't you a beautician? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you think it's from that? Possibly with the scissors scissor? with cutting. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. But they There's can, cures. Uh, yeah, they can. They can I had, like, a, they can I had a girlfriend who had carpal tunnel, and she used um, acupuncture, and it went away. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You could oh, probably okay. also because it's like nerves. You right? could nerves, also probably so. take a cortisone shot. Oh, okay. Way. They did that to my foot, and it was great. Yeah, some yeah. they immobilize the. Uh, uh, they put a little brace on that. Uh, I figure support. they're going to tell me I need that. Now. Yeah, but you don't want to look like some retard at school. Well, you don't have to wear it all the time. With a glove. <laughs> Now, did you guys talk about the elephant in the room? Work. What elephant in the room, Phil? Well, <laughs> well, I wanted to know what Phil thought of all, about all this. I mean, hey, that guy in Virginia, right? Do what you, the you, hell? Uh, you want to know <laughs> what? Uh, uh, you want to know what my? You want my opinion? Yeah. And I want to. You're gonna love my opinion. I know. I always to do, begin with. It, it? It's just a congressman. That's first of all, <laughs> that's it. my opinion. And, and, and Republican won that. Damage. But, you know, it's I turned on the TV long. set today. Yeah, right? I turned on the TV set today at about 10 o'clock in the morning, and they were hammering away at this story. And by yeah. 4 o'clock in the afternoon when I got back from lunch and everything, I turned it on, they were still hammering on the same <laughs> story. They didn't have any new news. You know, the guy was out of being operated on, but that was about it. <laughs> But they over and over and over again. And I'm thinking, you know, in the time they were doing these stories, how many kids were had, had been shot and killed in Chicago? Uh, okay. Police chief, 93 million. Alex. Yeah, but no, no, let me finish. I was, the, 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 the point I I'm, just saw Al, uh, Gabby Gifford. Now, look at, I mean, how many, you know, when are they going to just get gun control already? Because if the damn guy didn't have a gun, right? Yeah. Thank God he was a bad shot, because he only he wasn't that bad. He hit five. He yeah, but well, I mean they didn't he, die he right away. Shot fifty, he shot 50 he, rounds though. Yes, yeah. he was going. He, crazy. Yeah, that was that's was a, that's not a good average. You he didn't even kill him. I mean, God, thank God. He I mean, I, I'm, I think I, I think the guy should have pointed the gun on himself just because he was inefficient. You know, they yeah. shot him though. Yeah. But anyway, the point I'm making is how many kids, hmm. how many people were killed in Chicago today by gunfire. Hmm. And right. n- and did uh, does do the networks break in for six hours on that one? No. And it could be the, what we do is we somehow attribute more value to a human life that's a congressman than is just a normal person on the streets of any city in New uh, in, in the, the United governor States. Governor of Virginia, the governor of Virginia uh, kept saying ninety three million people a year are die uh, a day. Uh, dying from uh, gunshots in this country. 20, then he finally corrected wait, himself. 93 after million? Time. That would mean that yeah. the whole population right. of the United States would be <laughs> and dead in three days. he finally corrected himself and said 93 a day. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, th- this is a whole new thing. Do you know what uh, the Bernie supporters sound like now? Uh, See, what I wanted to know. Oh, stop. Okay. Because the guy is a supporter. Bernie Sanders. He was a this. The guy's crazy. He was a socialist Bernie supporter. Somebody's going to run out of yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, yeah, and and uh, the, but all those other murders and shootings have been like Republicans. So you know, I mean, it, it, it's risen to a level that uh, now uh, it's turning, it's turning violent, and and also. Oh, what do you mean it's turning violent? It always. Wait a minute, Phil. Phil, you you forget things like uh, Waco. You forget things mm-hmm. like. Uh, Oklahoma City, you you know, you say it's just turning. Actually, our violence isn't as bad as it was. Well, uh, that's thank you can thank Trump, I guess. But no, no, uh, you can't thank Trump. You can't thank Trump. He hasn't done a fucking goddamn thing to prevent this. Yeah. And why? Well, why was he the one to announce today that the uh, shooter had had died? Is this the job of the president of the United States to be uh, oh, no. press but, secretary? He he called uh, these guys, you know, the the survivors. Uh, he was very presidential today, and uh, they wrote a speech for him, and he actually read it and and didn't mess it up. And uh, big, big fucking deal, as I say again, you know, these guys are privileged people in this society. They put a target on their back through their politics. When this happens, are you are you amazed that it happened? No. It's 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 uh, it's the way business is being done these days. And did, you, did you see? They said he was a nice guy. 
His friend who, came. Yeah, said, well, they always say that about the guy who shoots. He was a quiet room. man. Yeah, he was. He was, he was so quiet. Inspector. Never. He never bothered anybody. It's, it's right. just so right. surprising that he. That, he no, actually, actually, the, the fact of the matter was, this guy they knew he had guns and he'd been shooting rifles off in his neighborhood, and there'd been they, complaints about it, and yet nobody did anything about it. So, so much for uh, uh, you know taking care of this by. Uh, 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 by checking people out when they're using guns. This guy this was, was a, a rifle. Huh? Uh, I think you can buy these rifles without the uh, background checks, or at least you could. See, at that's one a problem. Maybe not in California, but I haven't bought a gun in so long. I, I don't yeah, know. Don't what. you find that a little alarming? You could buy a rifle without a background check. Oh, that's kind of scary. You could buy. In my state of Virginia, you could buy. Rob? It, Rob? It, it, in my state of Virginia, you can go. In fact, it's going on right now. The Dulles uh, Gun Show. Go in. They had the big commercials for it. You see all the great weapons you can buy. Stop in. Pick something up. Wow. I don't have any. Anybody can buy them. It's right there in the Dulles Expo. Hmm. People make fun of me for reading comics, and they're probably buying 38s. I, I want one of those Barrett Light 50s. Those Barrett Light 50s can shoot a sniper shot, a dead <laughs> Shot a mile away. Yeah, but what are you going to do? But now this is taking this is taking the heat off. But what happened with Trump? They indicted him today. No, they, they said they're investigating. The no, possibility I heard he was indicted pollution. today. He wasn't indicted. It's just well, an investigation. Uh, it, it was uh, the criminal. Uh, well, there's some kind of criminal that. action that they're considering like against people. Trump. They're okay. investigating. But this investigation was going <laughs> on right after he fired Comey. Uh, <laughs> For, for the right, they said that was it. Once he fired him, that was when they really wanted to get the special prosecutor, right? Yeah. Now no, they're saying the investigation. I, I agree with you, Alex. I don't think he can fire Comey. He can't, right? Well, I mean, he he, uh, he, he can fire the AG. He, 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 right. Uh, he can fire the special <laughs> prosecutor. You know, he but can. The, but the no, fact no. of the matter no. is, the more of the shit he does, the more guilty he looks. You he's know, not going to fire. Was, now, there was no reason for him. Uh, there, no <sighs> there was no reason. Now they're saying they're shooting Republicans. There, you was know? No, there was no reason for him to get rid of uh, of Comey. There was no reason. Uh, the only reason he got rid of him was because he wanted to pursue the Russia investigation. Well, that's not a reason to get rid of him. You know, that's mm -hmm. not a presidential reason. But then again, we're expecting Trump to be presidential. And he doesn't know the first thing about being presidential or respecting the office. Yeah. Talking about Russia, yeah. I saw the second segment. Oh, the second of one Putin. tonight was oh, terrific. The Putin thing? Yeah, but did you see the last few seconds when he was asked by Stone, did you have any involvement with uh, the uh, the um, uh, election in the United States? He didn't did, exactly did, ask that question. That wasn't well, he, the question being it asked. Was, it was no, the, 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 no, the question being asked was, do you involve yourself in the uh, in the affairs of other countries? And he says, we make it a policy not to. He, and, and he was specifically asked about the U.S. election, and he said, Niet. Uh, now, That's did right. you see his face when he said Niet? The Would Cheshire cat look? Like, no, yes. not well, me. Well, no, 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 you, no, well then you were, you were imposing your own prejudices oh, on what he was last doing. No, no, I saw interview. it. I saw it. And um, I, the one thing about the, about the interviews with him, number one, I'm not a big fan of Oliver Stone. But man, he's doing a hell of a job interviewing this guy. Yeah, I is. mean, he's getting more out of Putin than anybody has ever gotten out of Putin. Plus, there's a certain you almost like Putin. He's 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 kind of, <laughs> got a, got a sense of humor, you know. Uh, he, you don't think he's playing Oliver Stone? Of course he is. Of course he's playing Oliver Stone. Uh, yeah. uh, but the point is that I, I think. That I and I said this to girlfriend. She said, "Well, you know, uh, and Putin's done this, and Putin does that." And I said, "Where do you know that from?" And she says, "Well, that's what they say." And I'm saying, "Yes, that's what our government says about Putin." But is it what Putin is? What I like about this is I'm getting to hear Putin's side of the story, unvarnished. Okay. And so, whether you believe him or not, at least you're getting his side of the argument. Just watch the last question again uh, that Stone poses to him. I'm not going to. I, I and don't, just I don't look at the smile on his face. You could see, you know, it was like 
yeah, no, we're not doing that. that no, is, no, that, that I didn't take it. To, I, I didn't take it that way at all. I think it was more of I'm laughing because it's a stupid question. Well, just just look at his face. When I, he I, I I'm not going. I'm not going to Phil because you're interpreting it like you wanted to. I didn't see that. Well, maybe you'll see it if you. No, but you look. were looking for things. You were t looking for facial tells, and this isn't a poker game. Up until the moment he did that, I had nothing but the same feeling about Putin that you have. I feel that Putin has his version of what he thinks is the. I mean, like, like he, his whole explanation about the homosexual thing was very interesting because it was yeah. an interesting take, only in that I don't agree with it but that he said that we don't suppress people because of their sexuality in this country. We just don't want adolescents to be proselytized to about being gay. I, we want mm -hmm. them to become 18 before they make that decision. He said, so that's why we made a law that you can't go around proselytizing being gay and so on to young people because they're still in a formative stage. That, but, but and whether people, I agree or disagree with that, whether I agree or disagree with that, it is a, let's say, a valid opinion to have. Not one well, that I agree with, children. but, you know. Yeah. It, it almost sounded like a religious thing, like he had found religion or something. No, it wasn't religious. He just said he, be, he believed in the Russian family, you know, yeah. but he believed that if you were going to grow up and be gay, then that's fine. And if you want a job in the government, you're going to have a job in the government and... If you want to run for office, you can run for office and you can be openly gay. It's just that they don't want people proselytizing to kids under 18 about being homosexual. But from what I hear, uh, many gays say that they knew they were gay when they were much younger. No, but that, than that's it. all well and good. What the, what the law specifically is about is advocating to younger right. people about being gay. OK, and that until they're 18, you can't do that. After that, you can go and hold a march or whatever you want to try and get somebody to become gay. But they feel that while they're still under 18, that they're impressionable and that uh, that is not the time to proselytize being gay. Right. Now, he, he, I don't necessarily agree with that, but it, but it went against the notion that the uh, the Russians uh, uh, were against gays being uh, uh, said uh, in Muslim uh, countries that they kill gays. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, but uh, so he, uh, but Stone asked him about. Uh, he says there's a, a large percentage of Muslims in, in Russia. That Russia has and, the largest Muslim population outside of France, I think. Yeah. Now yeah. he said. Uh, you know, uh, Putin said that they are very peaceful and that we don't have any problems with them. But why are they having all of this unrest and schools getting shot up? And, and uh, there's been a number of... In uh, Russia? In, 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 Ru in, in, Russia. Ru in Russia? No, in Chechnya. Oh, in Chechnya? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is uh, is that where the major Muslim the population is? No, the major Muslim population day. he was talking about lives in Moscow. Oh. Alex, that uh, thing in London, right? Well, it's a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they don't know whether it was uh, terrorist yet or something, right? I mean, I'm sure they think it might be, right? Could have been a fire. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. you know. But it, all I'm saying is, is that if, if you, uh, did you watch any of the interview, uh, Rob, with Putin? No, not yet. It, what is it, it, two parts so it, far? So far, two parts. It's going to be so, four parts. It's all, all running. CNN? It's all running this week. No, Showtime. it's on Showtime. Uh, oh, sure, and I was, I'm amazed. I'm amazed at how good Stone handled the interview because yeah. as opposed to these other people like a Megyn Kelly or a, uh, I saw he, they showed part of an interview with uh, Charlie Rose, they all try to be heroes, you know, and do gotcha journalism. And what Stone has established with Putin, and these are 20 hours worth of interviews that this is called. Wow. Them. Do we know if there were uh, any kind of, um, you know, conditions? No. There, things that he had to stay away there from? Does, things could... There doesn't appear to be conditions. I mean, do you get that feeling there are conditions oh, there, Phil? No. Uh, Putin was driving around in his car. He's he drives driving. a Mercedes. Yeah. He was driving the car and answering questions. Yeah. And, and um, 
Uh, was this like comedians in cars getting coffee? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like politi- oh, yeah. it's, it's dictators in cars oh, getting coffee. But uh, no, I don't, I don't think anything was off limits. I, I uh, he asked him about everything, but it was the way in which he approached the questioning that made it comfortable for Putin to answer them because he didn't feel that 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 Stone was being um, uh, adversarial, that he was simply there to have a discussion. And yeah, that worked. And I mean, yeah. it's the most revealing interview I've ever seen with a with a with a politician uh, in my life. Yeah. I, I don't think I don't think if Trump were being interviewed, even by Oliver Stone, he would be this forthcoming as 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 Putin is. Putin seems very solid in his answers and his command of history. Mm-hmm. I mean, he brought he brought up the Rosenbergs. I don't think he was even alive when the Rosenbergs yeah. were executed. Yeah. You know, well, he's, yeah. it was, uh, and he, you know, and he said, you know, they they didn't uh, have the information; they just transported the information. They didn't create the bomb. Well, yeah, uh, they, well, they didn't. They didn't uh, they, create the technology. They didn't create the technology that other people yeah, did. And those, and those was already people, out of the bag, and that was the fault of the U.S. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I mean, uh, but it, it it's just a very revealing interview. It's you see a side of the guy, you see a person you don't expect to see. He's much more amiable than you ever expected he could be. Yeah. Uh, he even jokes a bit, you know. He's playing hockey and he's joking about playing the hockey and so on. And you know, yeah. Uh, and they said, does anybody ever check you? <laughs> you know. Y- y- yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I mean, and he and he's always very nice to to Oliver Stone when he when he when he sees him. He you know, hey Oliver. Good to see you again. I, the, last night there was a line where he, he it was a couple of months since they had done the last interview, and uh, the first thing Putin says, "So did you miss me?" You know, yes. you don't expect that out of Putin. When he was leaving the hockey stadium, he actually had a conversation in English with the uh, w- a woman with the dark hair that yeah. was uh, standing behind uh, Stone. I yeah. don't know who she was. Uh, oh, I have but, no idea. And and they had it on. How old are these interviews? Uh, they uh, finished the last one, I think, this year. It started. So, it started in 2015 <laughs> and ended okay. in 2017. All right. Uh, and um, uh, he, obviously, the election was going on because he asked him questions about the election. He kept asking, "What do you think of Bernie Sanders?" And Putin Ooh, wouldn't answer. Called him a commie. <laughs> no, Putin wouldn't answer. And finally, Putin had to admit, and and a Stone brought it up. He said, "If you were to come out for Bernie Sanders, then he wouldn't have a chance of winning. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you were to come out for Trump, he wouldn't have a chance of winning." Right. Uh, and and uh, so he was very political on that question when asked, uh, "Who does he want to see win?" And he said, "Well, whoever wins, I want to see them be able to get along with us and to have an ongoing dialogue." Basically, is what he said. He also said that uh, no matter who wins, it's the same thing. They're it's all the same. The, they're thing. All the same. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know. Well, he feels his his whole uh, feeling in these interviews is that the United States has been out to undermine the Soviet Union constantly. I mean, they I he, they kept keeps talking about NATO's got all the, these missiles pointed towards them. That he for years he and the he and the Soviet Union have tried to come together for an accord on an anti-missile program, which they did have in place at one point, and that the United States, uh, well, he, the, what was interesting was Snowden. Yes, yes. When he talked about mm-hmm. Snowden, he said, I don't like Snowden because uh, he, what Snowden did was wrong, but he's a brave man. Right. He said, but, but if, if, if he did it here, I would consider it that he'd done something wrong to us. He said, but... The reason we didn't turn Snowden over is because the United States was lagging in some kind of a reciprocity with us about turning over uh, political, you know, refugees, prisoners, or, prisoners, prisoners yeah. or whatever. That for years they've been trying to sign a deal with the United States and the United States has been lagging. So that's why they didn't turn Snowden over. They didn't have to. It was also a missile treaty that the U.S. pulled out of, and I think well, that it was, was the anti- they showed that, some that film was, of George Bush. Uh, that was the, well, that was the anti-missile treaty. The, the, yeah. We had signed a missile treaty, I think. I uh, Gorbachev and Reagan signed one. Yeah, and, and then, and then uh, Bush W. did away with it, eliminated it. And what he feels is that you know all those, yeah. in, in, he said, 
uh, hell, uh, you know, he says, NATO is nothing but something that's pointing missiles at us. You know, and we have to protect ourselves, and we're not as protected as we could be. He said, you know, we don't have the same resources that we put towards protecting our nation that the United States does towards protecting the United States. In fact, the disparity between the budgets of the two countries is amazing. It's like yeah, we spend right. 10 times the amount of money on defense of our homeland when it's never, ever really been hit except during 9-11. You and know. that wasn't by an army. And it wasn't by an army. Uh, meanwhile, he said the United States has a whole ring of missiles surrounding the Soviet Union. Had a photograph or an illustration yeah. of uh, where all the missiles yeah. were pointing. So I understand where his paranoia comes from, you know, and wh why he has every right to feel the United States is out to get him. And he says in several hot spots around the world, they've uh, they've jumped in and you know, tried to stir the pot up and do things like that. So it was well, Cuban, uh, the Cuban, uh, when they put missiles in Cuba. Yeah. Uh, you know, he uh, referred to that as, uh, you know, hey, you know, when we did that, you guys went crazy. You know, you guys have stuff pointed at us in, in all directions. All I'm saying is great about this interview is that for a change, we're hearing it from the other side, you know. And, uh, uh, and, and, and Oliver Stone may be just the right person to interview him, not Megyn Kelly. You know, she got, what, 10 minutes out of him, and that was it? Uh, you know, and, there seems to be a respect that Putin is giving Stone. Uh, he's treating him as an equal, Well, I, I, look, I know, I know what Stone is doing, because I do that with, I've done that with interviews, too. I, I remember when I interviewed Louis Farrakhan. I, I used exactly that technique is that you don't come at them like you're trying to be the hero and try and do gotcha journalism. What you do is you sit down, have a respectful conversation, and they start, they actually start spouting stuff. You don't even have to ask questions. They will just start answering a question and they will keep going if they feel comfortable with you. But how are you gonna feel comfortable with Charlie Rose for crying out loud, you know? I don't feel comfortable with him in the morning on the news. Yeah, right. Hey, is anybody else going to call this program tonight? Jeez, this is slow tonight. Uh, we uh, last night had uh, what a full house, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of people out there listening. So give us a call. You know, just just uh, download Skype, or if you have Skype on your machine, just call Gabnet Live. Uh, I don't think you even have to. Uh, add yourself to the contacts because if if you can't get in I'll just call you right back and you'll be on you know so we've got this whole we've got this whole little problem solved by the way Rob have you noticed that I've 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 changed your announcements I have noticed yeah yeah, yeah. you did a good job nice it, editing it, it was very nice I, I changed uh, the uh, the opening uh, uh, yep, let he, me he let got me, rid of talk ra uh, talk radio well, he got rid it, of the it, word it, radio it, it, here let me just play one just so people know what we're talking about this is Gabnet the great American broadcast network talk like you've never heard it before I just took out the word radio because I decided I didn't hear that did you play something oh really it didn't come over Skype it didn't come over Skype. It really didn't come over Skype? No. Well, why would that be? Nope. It should. Huh. That's, a, that's strange. It really didn't? No, uh, I thought you were looking for one. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me play that again. Let me see if you can hear it. Hey, listen to this. You hear that? This is nope. Gabnet. The great no? Nope. Huh. I'm wondering why that's not, uh, why that's not going through. No. Is it going on Facebook? Is anybody watching it on Facebook? I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It, it should be. Let me see here. Hold on a second. I, I put on the audio. Let me. I, I can tell here. You no, know, it's playing. This is. Yeah, it's playing over. It's playing over. Uh, over Gabnet. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Let me see here. Let me try it. Uh, let me try it this way. Hold on. I have another version of it here. Here we go. Here we go. This is Gabnet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. See, I took out the word, uh, I took out radio. Yeah. Um, because I just decided that it wasn't radio anymore. I guess, why, why I play the theme later on and people hear me playing the theme at the end of the show, don't you? 
Typically, yeah. Typically, yeah. Like when I play this. Oh, I know why I played from the other machine. It could be this is coming through on the same pot that the uh, Skype is coming through on. It may do some audio cancellation. It may do some mix minus on it is what happens. On itself, yeah. yeah so if I play it from this other machine, it works. You know, so yep. that's the reason why. But anyway, that's what we did. I, I actually, and it's it's so clean, yep. I, I can't tell that you didn't record it that way. And you, um, and I saw, I heard that you've taken some of the promos and put new, uh, like, inner, you know, bytes of yeah. programming in it. Yeah, I wish I had just the voice tracks of your stuff because uh, uh, that I could then go back and redo a lot of stuff, you know, and create. Uh, you, you're, uh, you're getting the editing juices going? Well, no, I'm not getting the editing juices going. I'm just tired of hearing the same spots over and over again. <laughs> and I'm waiting for you to move, move into that new house so I can get some new <laughs> spots. Yeah, well, got a couple of more months. Yeah. Well, we're not even here a month yet. Yeah, now has, has they started building the other house? Yes, they did. The, the foundation has been poured. Oh, I see. We, okay. we went there last Friday and, and took some pictures. Um, the foundation is poured. We'll go, we'll go this Friday, and hopefully we should start to see some studding up. Why don't you bury something in the foundation? The like time some, capsule. Because yeah. you, don't, you don't get a chance to do that. They, I got a picture when the foundation was up. Oh really? That'd be cool to do if I knew they were going to build it. Yeah. They put the they put the wood forms up first. Yeah. Then you could just go drop something in there and know that it's forever there. Yeah. Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> Jimmy Hoffa. Exactly. But anyway, we'd like to get some calls from other people. I mean, where are some of our old friends? Like, uh, uh, where's Jeff tonight? And, and what's happened to um, what's his name? Brian. Huh? Brian. Brian. Yeah. Where right, are sir. you, Brian? Brian, I'm, I'm beginning to, when I don't hear from somebody like Brian or I don't hear from somebody like Jeff for a couple of nights, I get to worry about them, you know, uh, because. Well, Brian, uh, he may be the active shooter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, is, what is he eating? He's popping things over there. What? What is Phil eating? You don't mind me asking me. He's a couple of seeds, some nuts. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he's. Garbage uh, he, eat. Yeah, He's like a bird, you know. And I've had this ever since I took these antibiotics and stuff, and I'm feeling well. As you can hear, I'm sounding. Yeah, you sound you know, I sound Fantastic. alive and awake, and I haven't felt this way for months, actually. And, okay. Which means I must have had something just in my system. But uh, all of a sudden, I've got this voracious hunger. <laughs> you know, and the great you thing about ice cream? no, be, ice cream? no, just shut up. Oh, Epstein couple, Bar. <laughs> no, a couple, uh, uh, about last week when I was really sick, I lost yeah. five pounds. Yeah, you know, so. <laughs> I got to get sick then. Huh? <laughs> I got to get sick five pounds. You know, he's feeling better. He's getting yeah. overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, and, and the tooth is okay now, so that doesn't bother me. And the knee is all right. I have nothing to complain about. I'm, I'm looking for something. I'm looking. <laughs> I, you know. Marjorie says, I'm always looking for something, but I, I haven't been able to find. Now she doesn't want to hear about how good my knee feels, or how good my tooth feels, or how I feel physically. So mm. I've got one for you. Uh, you know, with the uh, thing that you had, and you were run down, and you didn't feel good, Epstein-Barr. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. That's the new. That's the new one. You know. No, what do you mean? That's an one? old one. That's an old well, one. That's sleep that's 30 years knee. old. That's an yeah. old. That's an old Jewish one, isn't it? No, no, no. <laughs> Epstein, <laughs> uh, and uh, no, it's uh, what, what it's uh, you, you feel run down and tired. Yeah, they, were, they were diagnosing that like crazy in the late eighties, early nineties. Everybody had Epstein Barr. Right. Well, if they don't have sleep apnea, they oh, got oh Epstein no, 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 the latest, no, the, one, the latest du jour is sleep apnea. Uh, yeah. Are you still using your mask, uh, 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 Rob? Oh. Oh. No. No, no, I, no. I, I retired my machines. It, it, nobody I know who gets those things because the doctor says, "Hey, you, you know, you probably have sleep apnea. Uh, go get here's a sleep apnea machine. They use it for about a week and a half, and that's it." I am somebody I wrong. that uses it at least minute. four or five wrong. nights a week. Wait a minute, wrong. You you use yours, do you, Scott? He's you know doing really well right with it. All, right around the corner here. Still yeah. using oh. it every night. And you get a good uh, night's sleep. Right. 
sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. It, falls, <laughs> sometimes it falls off in the in the in, out of one nozzle and start blowing up into my eyeball. Oh, that's uh, that's wonderful. Oh, so you use those? You use the nasal pillows? Yes, yes. So those were killing me. Though I, I tried using those, and I was getting like, you know, when you get a when you get a headache, when you get like that brain freeze from Ooh. from like eating ice cream too fast. I mean, I they shoot the air up, and I was the cold air, and I was getting brain freeze. Rob, it falls off, so. it in the it up. Yeah, it wakes me and up. Then it goes. Then it goes <laughs> until you yeah. catch it. Stick it back my full... nose. I go back to sleep. Rob, it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I use a full face uh, with the gel uh, uh, cushion, and uh, yeah, and I'm very happy with it. I had one of those, and, and I like that better, but. Yeah, I, I just can't sleep with that thing on I me mean, constantly. And I toss and turn a lot. Oh, that's the problem. I toss and right turn, back. and you're, you're moving with that hose, and you're going around side to side, and that thing right. spins in the front. And Yeah. And the blast <laughs> there's, air. There's, there's, I'd just rather be buttons. dead. Quite frankly, if it's going to – if I, I'd just rather be you dead. You know what I do? I just take <laughs> I just take a Xanax every night and go to sleep. Well, it, it, the problem is it's not that you're not sleeping. It's that you're not breathing. Uh, you, know, you stop breathing. Well, I uh, ask I ask girlfriend when I'm sleeping, do I ever stop breathing? And she said no. However, however, since I lost sixty pounds, I'm sure it's better. I don't yeah. snore anymore. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. snore anymore. My snoring. She says very rarely. Some nights she says last night you snored, but basically uh, I don't snore anymore. Might depend on what you eat too. Sometimes no, it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that if you, uh, in fact, let me let me go to a camera so people can see what I'm saying. If if when you if you're sleeping and you're heavy, you you get yeah. fat in here, yeah. and and the fact Close is that when that hole. disappears, you, there's nothing constricting your airways, and so mm -hmm. you don't uh, you know you don't snore. Now you may snore for other reasons, but that's not one of them. Yeah, you know? I'm gonna get a Zipa. Zipa? Oh, Zipa.com. What's that commercial? No, what's Zipa? Like, I wanna, right, I want to try Happy that. Happy Z spelled backwards. Wouldn't it, well, uh, there's, uh, there's one called Wick or Winks uh, that you put in your mouth and uh, it, it they fit it to your to your bite and then the uh, the air goes in there that way so right. you don't have one over your. It, um, they don't cover it by insurance and it's about three grand, I think. Oh, so you but, can save uh, your teeth? And you can uh, kill yeah. the apnea at the same time. Once again, uh, they'll they'll let you pay for it you know, monthly. Over. Yeah. Uh, well, here we go. We're doing old people talk again. With somebody... hey, well, I have something to complain about. Sure. It's okay. really starting to mm -hmm. it's starting to really hurt me, and I don't know what to do about it. Right. I should probably go to a neurologist. For oh. about ten years now, I've had a. Spot oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on a second. I've got to get the waiting room ready and put the magazines <laughs> out. Okay. See, All right. If you had a green screen, you could do that. <laughs> For about ten years, I've had this spot right above my right knee that is numb. It's always numb. Yeah. And now that area is growing to the point where it's almost up to my thigh, and it's really, yeah. it's really starting to hurt. Like. Um, like pins and needles, and I probably should do something about it. Mm. Maybe but it's it, it starts to really sure. hurt. Hmm. Have you asked anybody about it? No, I I, uh, I haven't asked anybody about it. A chiropractor once. Well, my feet and my at night, especially when I lie down, get numb. Uh, and uh, it was at a point where it was hurting. It's not anymore though, for some reason. It's it's gotten better, but it's still there's still it's still numb. I was considering acupuncture. Mm. I'm thinking maybe this would be something works. acupuncture. Acupuncture. Would work. Look, I know. Like I told, uh, like I said before, my uh, I had a girlfriend who went to an acupuncturist and got completely cured of the carpal tunnel. Wow. Well, you, you know, sometimes, sometimes, it, sometimes, it. Some, yeah, you have to believe in it. They, let me. Um, there was a guy, can't, uh, Harris Salisbury. Was that his name? He was a reporter for uh, for Time Magazine, and he was in China. And he got he got really sick, and they had to operate on him. So they used acupuncture to anesthetize the area, and they started to cut into him, and he screamed like a stuck pig. And they couldn't they couldn't get the acupuncture to work. And they said one of the reasons acupuncture works with Asian people is they believe in it. 
Hey, there's you something know, about the bo- Chinese. Huh? She was Chinese, so maybe that's why. Was she worked. Chinese? She was. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there's something, that, and they said to him that there was something about Westerners who don't respond really as well to acupuncture. So it's a certain belief in acupuncture more than anything I be- else. I believe know? in it. I, I saw it work on her, and I believe in it. I mean, I got acupuncture for my knee. Well, it wasn't really acupuncture. It was a needle with cortisone in it. But it was close. <laughs> it was close, you know. So, like, if you, have, like, a sprained, if you have a sprained ankle, I wonder if they could do, like, my ankle was kind of bad from playing basketball. I wonder if they could use acupuncture for like sometimes when it gets well, cold. Well, it depends. You go, go to a sport. Go to a sports medicine doctor if you have health insurance, and have them take a look at it. It might just be you need a cortisone shot down there or something. I you tell know? you, acupuncture worked on my cat. Yeah. Well, yeah. how do you know it worked on your cat? Did your cat say it worked? Well, you could just see she's uh, she's twelve, right? Yeah. And she had slowed down, and now she's jumping on things again, and she's. Are you sure there wasn't cocaine in the needle? <laughs> That's why she's jumping. Yeah. I sat there for, I went, I think, six times with her for acupuncture. So anyway, I wonder, where, where's Kevin tonight? John isn't here. Uh, who else isn't here? Who's, Renee? who's missing in action? Renee? You know. Patrick? Did, did I say something to upset you people? I said something tonight to uh, my, uh, my, uh, my Facebook page that upset some people, so I lost some people. Uh, what, what did you say now? No, no, I was just complaining about somebody uh, who uh, I, ha- I haven't heard from it since I left Sirius and really oh, co- I should have been a decent person and said hello and called or to see how I am and whatever. Never heard from her, and so I just called her a bitch. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I think I saw and that you saw Albert. I see him. Right? Oh, yeah. how'd you let you go with Albert? When, uh, oh, you weren't here when I was talking about it. It went really well. I, I, you know, I. Sometimes you just don't. You know, I've been meaning to call him, you know, and he's been meaning to call me. And there's never been any bad blood between Albert and I uh, that would cause us not to deal with each other. But I think we just, you know, our lives, our lives go separate ways, and so on. But he, you know, we had lunch and it was like uh, we picked up right where we left off. You know, I like the guy a lot. You know, he's been very much an important part of my life. And and uh, uh, certainly of, of all the producers I've ever had, probably the producer I had the longest. Um, um, and and uh, he uh, he was always I uh, always felt very loyal, you know. Uh, when Fox once told him you can either have your job here at Fox or you can do your little thing on Gabnet, he said, fuck you, Fox, which I, you know, I, I told him today, you never had to do that, but you did it. And I, I appreciated that loyalty. He said, it wasn't totally loyalty. He says, I didn't like the place either, you know, so, but <laughs> the point was that we had a very nice lunch and we talked for a couple, about two and a half hours at lunch and, uh. Uh, I'm gonna go out and see him probably next month, and you know, I, 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 I miss him not being in my life. Okay, and is he happy doing what he's doing? Doing nothing? Yes. Oh, I don't know that he's if, whether he's doing nothing, but he's, he, he's, he's happy. He's, he's, he. I said, "What are you doing with your life?" He says, "I'm retired." Uh, his um, his mother died. He got a house in Florida, and he sold it, so he got some money out of that. And he says, he's got, he's got he's got enough money to take care of himself. He and his wife. And uh, they're thinking of moving out of New York at the end of the year. And uh, I asked him about his, uh, uh, you know, about what he was doing. He had held some jobs over the time. Uh, he worked for the post office for a short time. He yeah. said he, he worked out at, uh, out at uh, uh, I think, Dulles, uh, offloading planes from around the world. He said that, yeah. was, that was hard work, he said, but he loved it. And he loved the guys he was working with. But that was like three months because it was a temporary job with the government. And then he got another job with the normal post office. He says that was the worst job he ever had. He said, I totally understand why people go postal. He said, yeah. they, they, he said it's, it's, the, it's just a, a very, very harsh kind of environment. He said, and I worked the post you worked at the post office. So he's right, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's very hostile. And I want to go postal. I just wait online. And he said at one point... <laughs> So at one point he applied to uh, 
what was it? He, oh, he pi, pl, applied to uh, what, what's that? One of those food places? Uh, Pizza? No. Wagman or uh, Kroger? Like, huh? No. Kroger. You, you the know, health one, one. The health one. It, it, Whole Foods. No, oh, Whole I think Foods? he when he applied to Whole Foods. He applied Joe. to the other one. Hey, Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. And and oh, and and they turned him down. Costco. Oh. Yeah, and then he said he also went back and applied. He saw there was a job available at Sirius, so he applied for that, and they didn't give it to him, because somehow we're, we, even though we were told not your fault, nothing like that, we're on some kind of list. Like can't hire these people because they're not What's here anymore. Like Rada. Huh? Persona non Yeah, drama. you know, and it was we weren't fired for any malfeasance or anything like that. We didn't, you know, we didn't steal, pay, we didn't even steal stationery, you know, uh, or pencils. But somehow uh, he said he couldn't get a job at Sirius. And then he turned down some very good jobs at some radio stations because he didn't want to work in the morning. So uh, he he's very happy, you know, he's very happy with his life, and I'm happy for him. And it's too bad he doesn't want to do another Gabnet show. Well, I, mm. you know, I, I said to him, you know, I said of all the of all the people who've ever done shows here, I said the one that I keep asked about a lot and the um, people's wish list that he would come back is you. And he says, yeah, yeah but I don't want to. He says, you know, that's then. This is now. You, you know, know, I thought about Albert. Remember when he was on Gabnet? The plane went down and all that. Other... Oh no, no, it was those schoolgirls in Africa were missing. Yeah, I saw that they found them, and Vulcan I thought of Albert because that was the used to say that you get harem, the stories yeah. and you never find out what happened, right? R right, but he, but uh, so, he got about hundred of them back out of the two hundred. Yeah, uh, oh, what happened to the other hundred? Uh, they either killed them or sold them oh, all. They did kill some. Yeah, I didn't see that part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, about a hundred of them gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not to be mistaken. Don't mix them up, please, with Procol Harum, which was a very good rock group back in the sixties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see people fighting on your page, Alex. They were young. Huh? People are uh, mad at what you said. I think they're on your page. I was just so what you said. What? They're on the page going crazy. Where are they? Uh, not anymore. On your page? I no, think. they weren't going crazy on my page. No. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to see me. Oh no! Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. Um, wait a minute. No, there's nothing. Nothing terrible. Nothing really. Yeah. What are, what are you trying to do? Create trouble? No. Yeah. He's a shit well, I saw that guy Michael. The guy who used to call the show. He oh, Michael Hecht. You know what I did tonight to Michael Hecht? I got. I. I unfriended him. I. I'm, uh, I'm just so tired of this guy. It's a guy who pretends like he's trying to be my friend, but he's always putting me down. So I just said, "Fuck it, I don't need that." As a, I don't need him as a Facebook friend, you know. I didn't even know he was still friends. I just he used to call me up and insult, like he used to try to insult me in the break. Who? Michael Hat? That guy, Michael, used to call you short be a wise guy. Yeah, he always thought he was so, you know. I, mean, yeah, I, I was always I nice was to him. He came to New York person. once, and I was very nice to him, and you know. I didn't want to insult him. I can fucking oh, go ahead, go ahead and insult him. <laughs> I take the high road. Yeah, but uh, what I what I hate about about Facebook is that, you know, somebody doesn't like something you say, so now they're not going to be your friend anymore. It's and so mm. this whole, this whole, idea, begin with. this whole it's idea, very childish. well, this yeah. whole idea of what a friend is, has kind of, we've kind of distorted the meaning of friend, you know? Uh, I mean, uh, so I, I, you know, I, I, it, 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 it bothers me. I get bothered by it for some reason. Uh, and I don't want the very thing that comes in. Like, for instance, people might say, oh, you censor your Facebook page. Of course I do. It's my Facebook page. It's, it's you coming into my home and writing on my wall. Okay? <laughs> and if you're writing something I don't want you to write or I don't like you writing, I have every right to take it off, right? And can I ask a question, too? Wait, what? I kind of agree with you on that. Do you think people are taking things too literally when you type something? Or I'm not saying this what you said. In general, they can take something out of context. This is like wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, you know, especially when you're typing something. And it's constructive. I'm not meaning like that. I mean, just in general, you know? It's not like a regular conversation. You know what I'm saying? Am I making a point? Uh, once like, in a while, I comment on a camera thing, and you'd be surprised what people will say, uh, you know, uh, I was, uh, uh, you know, I was talking about a piece of software. I, you know, yeah. and 
uh, people will they get they get outraged. Uh, well, yeah, you, well, the thing is, channel. the thing is on Facebook, you can talk about something completely inane and right. or 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 you start a little topic thread because you think this thread's going to be a nice thread. And by the time you get down to the bottom, it's like a, a game of rumor, you know, where you pass one thing on to another person. Yeah, I, on another person. And it's by the one, time you one, get to the I, bottom I to, of the thread, they're talking about something else entirely. Thread. And one guy I asked him, I said, look, you have anger management issues or <laughs> exactly, yeah. in this company or something? Well, no, you know, but there are also you? people that hijack your thread. Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden they get into an argument with somebody else and it has nothing to do with what you wrote in the first place. Right. You want to laugh, Alex? Can I say this? Yeah. When I used, Because I always used to call you show. People used to message me thinking that we were like, don't take it personally because I really respect you and I like you. But like we were like great friends, and I have like a pipeline to it. Says I don't talk to Alex like that. They would think like I mean, I would, it's, I the first time that I ever you. met you, Tony. In fact, the only yeah, time, did, I, actually, I actually, actually the only year. time I've met you, to be honest, yes. is because I held a housewarming here, and <laughs> Albert, as a joke, decided that if you would come here wearing footy pajamas, you could come to the party. <laughs> I wasn't going to come, and, actually, because I felt out of place. And, and because you didn't, you didn't want to show up with your footy pajamas. But, That's but, true, yeah. But I actually really But the reason like, you were at my housewarming, but I and the only time I've ever met you was because of, of Albert. That, yeah. And it was very nice Tony, to for that. Did you give him back the silverware? I did. I, please. <laughs> <laughs> I have never stolen a thing in my life. I don't have to. <laughs> so what else is happening in the news besides congressmen being shot, which is, know. you know... Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, tell you one thing though. What? I want the week to end. Why do you want the week to end? I'm tired of that fucking place. I hate to complain about my work. I wish they'd fire yeah, you. <laughs> you hated that job for. Actually, I don't hate it as much. I think I'm going through, like you said, like, I that enjoy the work. But you know what it is? What is it, like you said? What is wait a minute, wait a minute. You enjoy the work? I'm lying to tell myself. Tell them what you do. Tell them what you do day in and day out. All I do, and I'm telling you, I pull orders. You know, you know what gets me through the day? And I kid you not, I'll put on my old radio, like today I brought Jack Benny in on my little cassettes, my CDs, yeah. and I'm making these fucking cases. And the only way it gets me through he is He makes to hat ca program. cases that they put in. Jack Benny. Oh, Other than you, that, you, 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 you actually on. assemble boxes yes, that you put hats in. So, that's what yes. you do all day long. Well, not all day. That's just part of my day. Like, today You're like that guy yeah, on that pizza commercial who's making hours. the boxes over and over and over oh, and over again. Well, that's like that's going home. The only thing that keeps me going, I bring my CD and I listen to the show, and I just say, okay, I'm laughing. I'm right, that's lunchtime. Oh, isn't there the kind something? Of is I like want to bring back to America. Isn't there no. something else you can do with your life, like work in a coal mine? I tell you, my right. sister's right now. <laughs> I wasted. I have to, I regret this. I think I should have been a teacher. I was lazy in school. I was a good student, but I was very lazy. I really was. And now I'm regretting it. Not really. And now you're stuck with putting Fakasta hats in a box for your uncle. I know. But I do like Jack Benny today. So that got me through the whole day. That was my agenda the whole day. What did you say, uh, uh, Phil? I got I my passed the exam. He could have been a cop. He could have been I a cop. I did on it. My friends told me to take it for a goof. I passed. I passed the psychological evidence. Mm -hmm. This is you're going to be a cop. This is are you fucking crazy? Okay. I want an update. I want, a, I want an update <laughs> from Scott <laughs> because you, if you're watching the show on on on, uh, on, on Facebook, no uh, you can see that Scott every now and then gets up and leaves, and I'm sure he's going to check the air conditioner. Now my good. daughter got home from kickball. I, I want to hear how yeah. she did. Oh, how, how old is your daughter? Twenty-three. Okay. Yeah. I didn't adult. know kickball was paid. I never heard of adult kickball. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a uh, it, it's her uh, uh, company league that she's with. So yeah. Does she live at home with you still? Yes. Yeah. A lot of kids are still living with their parents these days. Might as well. I got a room. I got plenty of space. So. Again, that's the uh, that's the Trump economy. It's going to be really good for everybody. Everybody's going to be able to move it's back in money. with their parents. Fun, but she's okay. <laughs> huh? He's promoting. Uh, he's promoting family. He's promoting family. Yeah, yeah. Because like he is the pre perfect progenitor of family. Let's see how many wives. How many Three. kids? Three. Yeah. How and many? All hot. Uh, and now, let me uh, see here. Was uh, yeah, yeah. Marla well, Peoples. Well, I've only met one of them. I met I met Ivana. Yeah, uh, she did my show in San Francisco. I liked her. I liked her. She's bright. 
bright woman. Wasn't she an athlete? I don't know what she was. She was like a Czech, um, uh, either a tennis well, player. All or I could see when she was sitting next to me was a piece of ass, but that's, you know. <laughs> that's what Trump saw. Did she have fake breasts, too? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Seems uh, to run in the family. You know, I remember the best, the best remark I ever got from anybody in an interview was I was interviewing LaToya Jackson. Now, interviewing LaToya Jackson is like interviewing a stream of air. Okay. I met her I mean, once. I know what you yeah, mean. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing there. There's vastly nothing vastly. there. There's absolutely nothing there. And um, uh, at one point, I don't know why it came up in the interview. Uh, she said, "Some people say my breasts aren't real." Did <laughs> she show you? I said, y "Yeah." She says, "They are." I said, "Well, I don't care." And she said, "Why?" I said, "I'm never going to get to touch them." <laughs> And she just looked at me with a blank stare. Like, you, you say, don't want to touch well, them? <laughs> yeah, right. Ready? Huh? What you know. did you say, Scott? I said grody. Gro old man touching my breast. Grody. Well, he must not have been old then. I'm, I'm wondering you know, Alex was young once. Yeah. Well, he was much older than her. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. Oh, she had that crazy husband. Uh, Jack, whatever his name was, and he used to beat her up and stuff. But, you know, he uh, he put her in the Playboy and all that stuff, right? And, uh, yeah. yeah. I remember the guy I worked with had to explain all that to me. And she was very, like, first I thought it was uh, Janet because, you know, she was a Jackson and they all had the bad surgery, you know, the nose job. And then I realized it was her. She was very <laughs> well, I, Another oh. interview that I did with another bag of air, basically, was Anna Nicole Smith. Oh, yeah. This woman didn't maybe have a brain cell working. I, 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 did, did you interview her when she was heavy or thin? No, I uh, while when she was a what, guest jeans model or whatever, oh. she was going around oh, pushing. Oh, she was pretty. Like, but she, she leaned, gorgeous, she but leaned over there. the console, yeah. and her butt was out there. And I, even though this was at a period where she wasn't fat, this was the biggest fucking ass I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. It like it literally had planets, you know, <laughs> circling. Like a Kardashian. She, died, right? she married some ninety-something-year-old guy, billionaire. Yeah. Yes. Oil. Yeah. Made him the happiest man in the world. He, and she didn't get anything, right? Uh, yes, yeah, she did. Died. I think she, she got did. it. No, she got it. She oh, she got it. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought that the son uh, protested. Oh, there, there was there was a big there was a big. She got a nice chunk of it, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah, a big chunk, probably bigger than his chunk, right? Yeah. Well. Yeah. And now the daughter will have it because you know. Yeah. She's dead. Yeah. Um, she daughters of women with big asses. Jane Mansfield's daughter. Right. She looks a lot like her mother. Yeah. But not blonde. Oh. Yeah, so her, her, her name is, uh, she uses the name Mariska Hargitay. That's her father, right? Well, her father is Mickey Hargitay, but she's right, Mariska. Right, bodybuilder. <laughs> yeah, and she, sort uh, of like she's on right like there. what, uh, 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 one of those. Oh, uh, one of those cop shows. Yeah, done very well for herself oh, as, very a, well. as an actress. Better yeah. than her mother did, yeah. Yeah, well, her mother. Mother didn't live through it. Yeah, well, her mother. She sold herself cheaply. Well, like, her mother uh, also had one of these fragile kind of careers that was not based on anything really right. solid, you know. Uh, she was vapid, like. Well, like she was. Cole, she was. Vapid. She was a sex goddess, you know, mm -hmm. and that. Uh, she was a pinup, right? Uh, uh, pinup. I don't know if you want to call her a pinup. Yeah, she wasn't. Did uh, they have pinups? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, Jane Man. I I thought she was a like a, a pinup. You know, people. She was a B movie actress, right? Yeah. Russ Meyer movies and stuff. No, like she didn't that. do Russ yeah, Meyer. No, she never did Russ Meyer. She was an A list movie star. And I'll tell you why. The girl can't help yeah, it. She she was on, under contract to 20th Century Fox. She did The Girl Can't Help It. She mm -hmm. did. Uh, um, uh, what was the? Was I have a, a bunch of her films here. Uh, she was uh, she was an A-list for a while. She was on under contract to uh, to 20th Century Fox. Um, Girl can't help it. The other one was uh, 
Uh, oh, God. Oh, it was a play on Broadway. Yeah, it was a play on Broadway. Oh, yeah, it was Success Boyle, Rock Hunter. Rock Hunter. Uh, Tony Randall was in it. Yeah, so she was she was around quite a bit. Uh, and, you know, and of course, the famous line was, uh, I think it was, it was Mickey Rooney introducing her at the Golden Globes back in the 50s. And he said, here they are, Jane Mansfield. <laughs> <laughs> they got there ten minutes before she did. Yeah. So what? She kind of had it like a nip slip for yeah. uh, Janet Jackson, maybe too, right? Yeah. yeah. She had like very low cut. Yeah. 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 Uh, Jack so, Parr used to make fun of her. Oh, a lot I too, think right? it was Jack Parr that introduced her by saying, "Here they are, Jane Mansfield." Yeah. Yeah. And did Dick Cavett write that for him or something? Probably. Probably. No. No. Wait a minute. Cavett didn't work for for Parr. Oh, did you hear there's going to be like some sort of uh, thing on, uh, oh, God, what's that thing you have? The Roku. Yeah. Vic, and it's going to be all old talk shows. There's really? There's a network called Vic, V-I-C-K or something. V- and I guess maybe it would be Mike Douglas and Merv Griffin and stuff. Do they like even that. have all that stuff? I know they don't have anything. They don't have the entire Tonight Show. Um, you could lay, yeah, but you could lay your hands on a lot of the Tonight Shows. Although the Tonight Show, it, very interesting. The Tonight Show is on, and who has it is, I'm trying to remember the name of the company Me now. MeTV? Huh? Yeah. It's either Me right. TV or the other one. one. The, yeah. It's the other one. But anyway, uh, if you watch those shows, uh, watch them carefully. Uh, it is always... It is never, you never hear, the theme comes on. Dun, 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 oh, yes. Yeah. Tonight, Johnny welcomes, blah, blah, blah. They never say The Tonight Show. They're not allowed. And they never show The Tonight Show logo. Mm-hmm. Right, they're not yeah. allowed. Yeah. So Why is that? Well, because, because NBC owns it. It's still an on-air program. It, it, it's, it's a title for a show they own. Uh, yeah. So they have to call it uh, The Johnny Carson Show. So they rejiggered the opening so that yeah. it, 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 and you never notice it. It doesn't say the Tonight Show, but it's it's like they they run a crawl and everything, and and then all of a sudden here's Johnny. At that point, they right. cut, yeah, to the show. Uh, but um, th- th- a lot of those shows they do have. I think you can go out and actually buy uh, the best of Mike Douglas, for instance. You um, had Merv Griffin, you said once, right? I have a whole bunch of Mervs here, uh, and it's a very interesting set because you you think Merv Griffin was a lightweight, but the stuff he had going for him was pretty good. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, he had some great people on. Oh, look, Jack Bishop is calling. What, what, hey, uh, have you been watching Eddie, that uh, new series? Uh, they, they're yeah. killing me. Uh, the, the, the comedy yeah. one about oh, this. I was watching the first one. one. On the 70s. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm having trouble with. I'm having trouble with Jack. Let me, let me call him back and add him to the group. Uh, this way he can uh, he can get us. He I, I don't know why he had trouble uh, getting us, but now I'm ringing oh, him and he's David not picking Letterman up. David Letterman was going to have a show with. Uh, you know, bearded David Letterman was going to have a show with. Is it Jay Leno or something? Or? No. What? No. I could be wrong about Jay Leno, but David, I forget what the name it was. I heard it. The way I heard about the Putin thing on Showtime real fast. Yeah. I, I wish I knew what it was so I could get it straight. But I would love to see that. Two episodes of that comedian thing. Uh, they're, they're, it's these, uh, you know, like from the 70s. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're um, uh, I, it's. I think it's. There, you're killing me or something. I'm dying, oh, 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 I'm dying up here. It's a very good. I'll tell you something. I'm, I've been watching it. Uh, I'm dying up here. It's on Showtime. It's a weekly yeah. series, and it's about comedy, about comedy clubs. And I got to tell you, as somebody who was involved in all of that, very authentic. Very authentic. Huh? Yeah. Was did you ever meet that lady? Is she a true character? The one. Well, she's the based. Lady? She's based on Mitzi Shore. I was going to hate you about oh, it. Paulie Shore's wow. mother. Yeah. Oh, that's Pauly Shore's mom? Well, it's based on Mitzi Shore. They call her Goldie in this show. And, yeah, you know. But Mitzi Shore had the, um, what, what's the comedy club in Hollywood? Uh, the cellar? No. Uh, oh, uh, comedy, comedy store. store? Comedy store. Comedy store. Comedy store, yeah. Yeah. And uh, she ran it like, uh, exactly like that. That was Mitzi. You know? Uh, and, and, but, but, just the way in which they're portraying the, the 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 kind of angst that comedians had about making it and how to make it and 
and uh, the, the, the opportunities being afforded you and how do you get them and why am I failing and why am I making it? And, you know, it, it, I, I found it, I, it rings very true. And I found that pretty, uh, pretty cool. So I wonder what happened to Jack. He tried to call. I tried to answer. Didn't answer. But, you know, he, he, is, he is technically stunted. So, you know. Well, maybe because there's only seven minutes until he comes on, he, well, he might have hit the wrong well, button. We'll, thought better of it. well, the phone works right now. I've got this thing working right. And so he shouldn't have any trouble with it. But knowing him, <laughs> he will. He will. Uh, gee, we have a few minutes left here, and I, I've run out of, I'd have run out of steam here. Uh, anything you want to bring up, Phil? Anything that you? Um, well, you know the, uh, I, I thought that the shooting, yeah. uh, you know, uh, was uh, that things are coming to a head. There's so much vitriol. There's so much uh, anger and divisiveness. That uh, you know, it's it's just it's getting to the point where it's turning violent. Uh, you know, now the protests, they're they're having these protests. I, I, I forget what they call these guys. Look, it's look, 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 but I, how do you see that it's any more violent than it was? I mean, in in not this environment, Gabby Giffords got shot. Yeah, she did. Yes, uh, uh, you know, this, and this and, is in response to, to Trump. Uh, this is not uh, the Gabby Giffords thing. Oh, I think okay, the guy was this just one's in response to Trump, but so what? I mean, it. Uh, you, you know, you've also got right wingers who are running around with guns too. You know, well, and and here's here's the here's here's the best part about this. Congressman gets shot, right? But one of his mm -hmm. aides gets shot. A couple of, of guards and whatever get shot. Okay. And, and they, they take out uh, how many, eight hours of the day just constantly hammering away at this. Do you think we're going to come any closer to gun control because of this? You know, the interesting thing, which means of, which means the, the next Congress one that the next one that gets shot deserves it because they didn't do anything about it. some of the congressmen are saying that they want to bring their guns to work. Oh, uh, Jesus. One. Number two, they can't. They can't. It's not legal. But number two, uh, people are saying that if it wasn't for the protective detail that they had on the uh, congressman, that no one would have been able, there wouldn't have been cops there, and they wouldn't have been able to fire back and, and stop the perpetrator, and many more people would have been killed. Uh, so that, you that's know, an it argument. Woulda, it's woulda, coulda, shoulda. You don't know. You don't know. Yeah, well, you know what I find quite ironic? Uh, ironic yeah, is was, that this guy who who shot him is probably for gun control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the one that got shot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's probably for gun control. He's a liberal, right? Yeah, right. Bernie Sanders came out and said he didn't condone what he did. He's right, exactly. It's uh, you know, look. Well, he had a big had to say Uncle that? Sam. The, the the shooter had like a. A Bernie Sanders that looked like Uncle Sam on his page, and he was really, really into Bernie. Yeah. It's not good for Bernie. It doesn't look good, you know. I, I think it's horrible. It, it makes all of us look bad. I mean, it, there you know, are ways thank to you handle for being things. Here, Alex and everybody. Maybe it's I a turning. I can't say anything anywhere. They're gonna think I'm like that guy. If I mention Maybe it's anything a turning. political. They're going to think she's crazy. I don't think it's shoot. a turning point, Phil. If if Sandy Hook wasn't a turning point, if, right. if all these other situations weren't turning points, this certainly isn't going to be a turning point. You, you've Especially got a lot, Sandy lot of, Hook. You've got a lot of people in the Congress that are uh, saying, you know, maybe enough is enough, and it's time that we started working together uh, 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 instead of being no, so No, no. You know, don't, uh, together, in your yeah. wildest dreams, Phil, because... Tell me when that's ever happened before. You know, when you have something like Sandy Hook happen, and then you can't wind up in Congress getting some kind of consensus of opinion about gun control, then it's never going to be solved. But it, yeah. but it didn't happen to the, to the congressman uh, before. Now it's hit. What do you mean? It happened to Gabby Giffords. It happened to yeah, Gabby Giffords, and they I did nothing yeah. about it. Right, they did nothing, really. Yeah, but I don't think Gabby Giffords was attacked because of her political... Oh, yeah, she was. Oh, no, because she's a woman. Absolutely. It's because she Sarah Palin put those targets on her face. I, I, think, I think the guy was a stalker, wasn't he? No. No. No? No. Uh, the one who shot her? No. no. What no. was his reason? Well, you know? He, I think he was a troubled kid that had a gun. And he, was, he shouldn't have had one. 
he had maybe some psychological issues. Well, nobody should have. This no, guy wasn't like that, No, though. Nobody should He's have cool. a gun, okay? That's, that's my right. way of thinking about it. But, of course, Phil will disagree with me. Then the criminals will have a gun! By the way, can you hear that music? Yeah, yeah, yeah you can hear that music. Because I play from the other machine. I think what happens is it does a mix minus here. Uh, when, when I, uh, mix minus again. Yeah, but let's not even get into that that whole mess. Anyway, thank you, everybody. I wish we had more callers tonight. It would have been nice to have a full house, but you know. Uh, but I wonder where uh, um, um, uh, what's his name is. Uh, Brian. Huh, Brian. Brian. He's just kind of like missing in action, you know. He does drive and watch TV, so he might have had an accident. It could have been. Could have been. I worry about people when I don't hear from them. Like I, we didn't. Uh, we heard from. Yeah, remember he was Jeff dead? tried last night, but he couldn't get in. And then uh, I haven't heard from him tonight, so I'm worried about Jeff, you know. Yeah, the bad part, yeah. They'll call anyway. tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully they'll call tomorrow. Anyway, it's been good uh, having all of you here. It's been a nice, fun little discussion. You know, nothing nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, thank you so much to the lovely and attractive Phil Meyer, followed there by Anthony Magno, followed by Bob Alf- Bob Rob Alfano. <laughs> Uh, and uh, and and Scott Boddicker and the lovely Charlene Martinez. Thank you all for calling. Wave goodbye to everybody and say good night. Okay, good night. see you later, folks. Bye. Okay, and that's it. That's uh, that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for our program for tonight. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night. Uh, in the meantime, up next, Jack and Amy will be here. With a little thing called uh, the intersection, followed at one o'clock in the morning by connections. I'll see you tomorrow night, same time, same station. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Mm-hmm.